Yo team, what's cracking? Welcome back to another video. It's been a minute and that is why we're doing a sit down catch up video. It's been a crazy few weeks, there's been a lot going on, loads happening and uh, I just haven't filmed anything. I've just been busy with life and not filming so I'm getting back on it. In this video I want to do a roundup of what happened in the past few weeks, what's been going on and then what to expect coming in the future and we just get back into those vlogs. By the way, I filmed uh, yesterday's workout outside, so I'm going to incorporate some of that footage over this to just interject a little bit so it's not super boring and just me sat down. What do we think of Tashio? Beth hates it. After her games, I was knackered. I didn't really train all week. I think I went to CrossFit once. I had a good workout, but like, I, my body was tired. I needed to rest. That was fine, so we rested. We then did Snowden on Saturday. BMA took a team up, so me and Al. Um, yeah, stuff's been going on with BMA as well, but it's me and Al. That's the future, that's the plan. That's not really relevant. First exercise, back squats. Working back into it. First session for about three weeks. So we're hitting 120 kilos, four sets every 90 seconds. Just a nice, simple double. Fall it, waist, don't wet it. Can't ever wait me. They never make it. Hey, fall it in, waist, don't know where to go. Can't see, ever go. Wait me up. They see, never go. Make it out. Hey, me. But anyway, we took a team of athletes up to do climb snowden. It was a hella long day. We left at 5:30 a.m. We got back about 1:30 in the morning. So it was a long old day. It was about a six-hour drive up, and then climbed up and down snowden. It was a really, really good crack. I really enjoyed it. It was challenging for some unbelievable views we did it a long long time ago there's a photo of me and beth like three or four years later or whatever it is um but yeah snowden was cool and we actually met sean which was nice to catch up with him and he is absolutely smashing his channel um so go and follow that that'll be the first link in the bio and that is all about him doing his walks his trekking his climbing really informative but also some amazing walks so if you're out obviously he covers the peaks a lot um but if you're in that way and you want to do a walk, he is your boy to follow. So yeah, he's smashing that anyway. But we met up with him and we did Snowden. Absolutely buzzing class team day out. Okay, ready? Yeah, Crack and send. <laughs> Squeeze <his> can. London for the finals and generally I think this is one of the main reasons that I haven't actually filmed We obviously lost the final your boy was heartbroken. It hit hard for a while It was Beth's birthday on the day of the final and my plan was to film a real cool like birthday slash London And then we went on to Brighton video and it was gonna be really nice and we were gonna win and it was gonna be a real cool video Well, obviously all that didn't happen and then yeah, I can throw in a little bit of footage from the from the day of the Euros The thing that we said the, to the boys the most to make us feel better was we had we just had an amazing month of football and enjoyment and drinking and sessions with the friends um, post COVID, which made it two times, 
three times, four times better. To then losing the final, yeah, it was hard, but we also had a few months of amazing football, so that was good. Fall it, waste, don't wet it, can't ever wait it, they never make it, hey. Fall it in, waste, don't know where to go, can't see, ever go, wait it up, they see, never go, make it out. So after London, we then headed to Brighton as best like sort of birthday treat because we obviously had watched the football for our birthday. Um, and we went to Brighton for two nights, stayed in Har Harbour Hotel there, which was lovely. And yeah, chilled out in Brighton. Like I said, I wasn't really in the mood to film uh, because of the, the England. And it was mad, it was like a bad breakup. That's what it felt like. Um, but yeah, we went, uh, went to Brighton, just chilled out, did a bit of retail therapy, enjoyed some good food. And, and that was a really, really nice trip. Come back from Brighton after two days. Bear in mind, I haven't really trained since turf games. I think I trained once and then just got super, super ill. Uh, bad headaches, migraines, uh, really coldy, no good. Wasn't COVID, I did like five COVID tests. No COVID, just wasn't very well. Um, so, took about 10 days off training and that led to being like two weeks and then even all of last week I was still not 100% you know when you're just not fully fully healthy and you just want to let your body recover so it hasn't been training obviously training I get most of my energy from training once I train I'm buzzing I didn't train I felt lazy I felt like slob I didn't want to pick up the camera there was just not much going on so that is why I didn't film for a couple of weeks and that brings us up to now, which is probably in the title, and why most of you would have clicked on this video. So, me and Rossi have decided to sell the house. Uh, it has taken a long time to come to this decision, but basically, a long story short is, I need somewhere to train over. At the minute, you can see from the footage that I'm training in the household space. When it's sunny, when it's warm, when it's dry, it's lovely. I like it, my clients like it, it's, par it's private, it's peaceful, it's great. When the weather is raining, when it's windy, when it's cold, it is awful. I can't work. Uh, there's been times when I've had to cancel sessions. There's been times where people have to have work, do a work out in my living room. It's just not ideal and it's not what I want. Obviously, BMA are planning to get a unit and build a gym within the near future. That has been the goal for the last sort of 16 to 18 months, seriously. Um, but we are really, really struggling to find something. And I can't keep waiting and waiting for that to happen while my personal training business is struggling. So we've decided to go on the market, we're going on the market with SBK, best company. They're taking some amazing photos. The house looks great. Um, and yeah, the plan is to hopefully sell the house, find a house similar, slightly bigger, because if you're gonna move, moving's obviously expensive. I wanna try and take a small upgrade and then get a house with a garage and have a garage set up properly, a nice gym in the garage for me, Beth and the clients to use until we get a gym. So that in itself has been massive, massively on my mind and that's been what I've been focused on for the last sort of week and a half as well. So that's been pretty crazy. Do you know, actually yesterday, so Monday was two years to the day that we got the keys to the house and that was the day the house went live. So obviously I'm gonna miss this house, we absolutely love this house, we love the neighbors, we don't want to move, but sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do. That also does lead us onto some really, really exciting content. Ha new house, renovation, I wanna do another renovation, I love renovation. So new house, renovating a house, building the garage gym, hopefully getting an industrial unit properly for BMA, there's just loads coming. So like I said in the videos before, it's been hard to sort of get back into filming with the whole world being locked down and then coming back out of it. I just haven't felt as confident to, to film, to be honest. But that is gonna change. I'm gonna come back with a bang and film loads. So tomorrow, back at CrossFit for the first time in about three weeks, and I'm definitely gonna film that and then just take you through all of the rest of this week's antics and more. So if you've stuck around to this point, I know this has been a pretty dull, boring video, but that's about to change. There's gonna be some exciting content to come. So make sure you smash that like button, hit subscribe. If you have any questions about the house, let me know down below. And if not, I'll see you in the next one.